Hi, this is Tom Gavin with another Paratech Tech Tip. One of the questions that comes up all the time is why do you use a threaded system and not a pin system on your strut? The answer is twofold and it's really quite simple. Basically what it comes down to is surface area. As we know in any kind of shoring operation, be it trench shoring, vehicle stabilization, big rig rescue, or building collapse, the more surface area in contact with the load, the stronger your shoring system is going to be. We use a threaded system, in this case an Acme thread, there's actually two parallel rows of threads on this strut. It transfers the load through the piston, down through the lock nut, into the body of the strut, and back down to good ground. The way we do that is through surface area. So between the threaded action here going into the lock collar, that gives us two inches of surface area. Even when I extend the strut and I spin back the lock collar, Okay, the diameter doesn't change. I still have two inches of surface area, the diameter of my piston or the diameter doesn't change, which brings us to L to D ratio, length to diameter ratio, another fact in shoring. The longer we make something in relationship to its diameter, the less it can hold. So even if I add an extension to the bottom of this strut, it doesn't change the diameter. So as I make this strut longer, the diameter remains the same. So now I spin my lock collar down, notice my piston did not change. So the length to diameter ratio is very, very important. And one thing that Paratech does is on every single strut, there's a load chart. The load chart will tell you what this strut can hold, completely compressed. In this case, it's 26 inches compressed and fully extended to 36 inches plus three foot of up to three foot of extension. Okay, so this strut will hold 20,000 pounds up to four foot with a four to one safety factor or a total of 80,000 pounds or 14,125 pounds at six foot or just over 56,000 pounds. L to D ratio, surface area. Thank you.